All right, so solving this, breaking it down, um, 1 over cosine x times 1 over sine x minus sine of x over cosine x over cosine x times 1 over sine x. All right, um, so here's what I'm going to do. So this becomes 1 over cosine x, sine x. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add sine over x, sine over x, so I get 1 minus sine squared x. And now I can combine them because if I have sine over x, sine over x, it's a common denominator. Um, think of it like this. See, see, now they both have cosine x, sine x. Okay, and then over 1 over cosine x, sine x. Oh, hey, look at this. So this becomes cosine squared x. This whole thing becomes cosine squared x over cosine x, sine x. And then this reciprocates. It becomes cosine x, sine x. Cancels that, and we're just left with cosine squared x. And that's it. Hope that helps.